Computer hackers around the globe are cashing in on our impulse to click. They're infecting our computers with ransomware, a malicious software that sneaks into your computer and holds your files hostage for money. This Valley businessman, who we'll call Paul, is a ransomware victim. He clicked on a work email attachment that looked completely legitimate. And as soon as nothing happened, my heart sunk and I realized I probably just become uh, uh, hit with some sort of spyware or malware. Every one of Paul's computer files was locked from work documents to tax records to hundreds of precious family photos. Horrible pit of my stomach. Um, sort of, I may have lost everything. Paul's attackers demanded $500 to unlock his files, but hackers extort businesses for much more. In February, ransomware took over Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center with ransom set at $17,000. That means all your medical records, all your, you know, all the people who are in for surgeries and doctor visits, all those records go blank until you can bring those servers back up. Dr. David Bowman is the provost of the University of Advancing Technology, a school in Tempe, Arizona that teaches and studies cyber defense. Dr. Bowman says ransomware doesn't just infect computers. It can also take over your phone, your tablet, even your cloud backup service. It may be months between the moment that the software got into your system mm -hmm. and when you turn that machine on and you can't get in at all to all your files. This drawn out scheme is a cash cow for hackers. Last year, the FBI received almost 2,500 ransomware complaints, with victims reporting more than $24 million in losses. 2016 has seen a tremendous increase in ransomware, and as long as the amount of money goes up that they're making, they'll keep doing it. Hackers have several ways that they can put ransomware on your computer. One of them is to send you an email that's pretty convincing. A bank saying that you need to update your contact information. You click on that link and boom, now ransomware's on your computer. In another scenario, someone might present themselves as law enforcement saying you need to pay us or we're going to prosecute you. And finally, some hackers go so far as to put pornographic video on your computer screen and it plays out loud until you agree to pay them. And Visa and Amex aren't going to unlock your files. Most ransomware requires you to pay in Bitcoin, a digital currency that lets hackers stay anonymous. Technology expert Titian Donkersley says that getting Bitcoin can be an onerous multiple day ordeal. The value of the Bitcoin can change over time. It fluctuates very, very similarly to the stock exchange. So when you go to transfer your dollars into Bitcoins, the, the value can change. So that's why it's a little tricky. After Paul paid his ransom, hackers sent him what's called a digital key, a unique secret passcode that thankfully unlocked his files. But not every victim chooses to pay. In fact, UAT cybersecurity professor Al Kelly advises victims not to. The real problem with actually paying is that you don't know if they're going to unlock your, your computer or unlock your files. Uh, it's just like any other criminal. Can you trust a criminal to do what they say they're going to do? Kelly says the best defense against ransomware is a good offense. You should back up personal files on multiple devices, like a virus protected cloud service and an external hard drive. He also recommends buying anti malware software and updating it regularly. And of course, avoiding anything clickable that looks fishy. My best advice is just don't ever click on a link. Even if it's from a friend and it's a cute kitten video, don't <laughs> click on that link. Christy Siefkin, Fox 10 News.